Hello everyone! In today's video, I'm going to show you the most valuable crops to grow in spring, summer, and fall. Keep in mind, these values are just the base raw value of each and every crop, not factoring in anything you can turn them into or anything like that, simply the price you get for throwing them into the bin once they mature. I'm obviously not factoring in exponential growth or anything like that as well, it is simply the gold per day value. So for anyone just starting out, right at the beginning of spring, the most valuable thing you can grow is cauliflower. These seeds cost 80 gold each to buy and they take 12 days to mature. And they have an earning power of 8 gold per day. Alternatively, if you're in year 2 and have access to the oasis, you can buy rhubarb seeds for 100 gold each. They take 13 days to mature. And they have a slightly better than cauliflower gold per day at 9. 9 gold per day to grow those. Now if you want to start making some real money in your springtime crops, head to the egg festival on the 13th of spring and see Pierre. Here we have the strawberry seeds. They sell for 100 gold. They take 8 days to mature and produce every 4 days after that. So even buying them halfway through spring, they will still get you 12 gold per day, which is already considerably better than anything else you can buy for spring. Or if you are smart enough to invest in the future, you can grow them for the whole spring the next year and they will get you 21 gold per day, which is starting to be some real money. So if playing for the long haul, invest in some strawberries and save them for the following year. Another crop you can grow in spring and through summer is the newly introduced coffee. When grown through spring and summer, it will get you a pretty good 21 gold per day. It initially takes 10 days to mature and then you can harvest it every two days after that, which is actually quite tedious. And you can sometimes buy it from the traveling cart. It costs a pretty large 2500 gold and it sometimes drops from the dust sprites in the mines. The reason I didn't include it is because it is so tedious to pick every two days and the initial cost of 2500 gold is pretty high. You can of course use a seed maker after that to expand your crop. But personally, I don't like coffee so that's all I'm going to say about it. Let's move on to summer. Now in summer, your choices are pretty straightforward. If you don't have access to the desert, go see Pierre at the general store. There you can buy blueberries, they cost 80 gold each, they take 13 days to mature and then you can harvest them again every 4 days after that. And they are worth a pretty valuable 21 gold per day, they are often what I grow in summer. Now again, if you do have access to the desert, you're going to want to go with the star fruit. They take 13 days to mature, so you can get two harvests in throughout summer. The seeds are pretty expensive, they cost 400 gold each. But it is well worth the investment, they have a return of 27 gold per day, so save up your money and buy some of these as soon as you can. Those make up the two simple choices for summer, let's move on to fall. Again for fall, the choice is pretty simple. The general store sells cranberry seeds. They cost 240 gold each, they take 7 days and then every 5 days after that. They are worth a valuable 19 gold per day, so those are definitely what you want to grow in fall. Unless you can manage the sweet gem berry, which starts out as the rare seed as seen here. It takes 24 days to mature, so basically all of fall. It is also the most valuable thing you can grow in the entire game. It is worth 83 gold per day to grow, so a full harvest of this will get you a lot of money. You can buy it occasionally from the traveling merchant, which shows up on Fridays and Sundays and costs 1000 gold when you do find it. Once you have a single one, the challenge is growing it for 24 days into its maturity and then putting it into a seed maker to turn it into two or even three seeds. Then you have to repeat this process until you have enough to do a full size crop. I did this myself until I filled my entire field with these and it was worth almost 12 million gold if I'm not mistaken. So if you can manage it in fall, do the rare seeds also known as the sweet jam berry. If not, just do cranberries. Now the other seed I need to talk about is actually the second most valuable seed and it is the ancient seed. It is grown through spring, summer and fall. And like the sweet jam berry or the rare seeds, they cannot be bought in bulk numbers. You usually get one at a time. So you have to go through the process of growing it to maturity and putting it in a seed maker and growing the numbers that way. It is worth 57 gold per day, so not as much as a rare seed, but a lot more than your other regular one. This is what I grow in my greenhouse. As you can see, it is very full and has been for quite some years. These ancient seeds take a full 28 days to grow and then they produce a plant every 7 days after that. 
So once my greenhouse is full like it is, every 7 days yields me about 100,000 gold, so that's just easy money that I don't have to take care of, I just pick it every once in a while. These can also be obtained in a number of ways, the first being the traveling cart once again. It also comes out of the seed makers once in a while, instead of whatever seed you're replicating you will get an ancient seed. Also found randomly in treasure chests and, and also as a reward from the museum. So I hope this helps to clarify things a little bit. I know a lot of people have been asking what the best seeds are to grow, especially since the 1.1 update because the values all changed. So that was it, all laid out the most valuable gold per day crops you can grow through every season. I hope this video is helpful in some way, shape, or form, or maybe even a little bit entertaining. If you haven't already, check out my channel. New videos up there all the time. Lots of videos already in there somewhere. Thanks for watching.